Hollywood, California, home of the magical talking picture. A mecca of entertainment, Hollywood has always been known as a land of romance and a sparkling beacon for a life of glamour. Beneath the clear blue skies of the San Fernando Valley is Universal Studios, a company whose name has always been synonymous with classic talking pictures. In addition to timeless masterpieces like these, Universal is also widely known for its thrilling theme park. Yes, these elements have all combined to make Universal Studios what it is today. But what about tomorrow? If we don't keep in step with the times, things that once were neat and thrilling can become old and stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is going on here? Ladies and gentlemen, this never happens. Look out! It's a shark! Here it comes! The shark is coming! That's right. Old and stupid. Look out! All you back there is in the back of the tram! Whoa! That is one big, scary shark. Oh, the humanity! Isn't that terrifying? To keep up with the times, one must constantly modernize. And that's true for our studio, too. But how can we improve the studio? Well, first of all, in order for the studio to prosper in the future, we need to apply modern, futuristic ideas. The first of these ideas is being artist-friendly. Say, what does that mean, artist-friendly? To find the answer, let's start where most people get their first impression of our studio, the front gate. Hello. Oh, look, here's MCA recording star Tracy Lords. She's thinking of acting in an upcoming film here at Universal. Your papers, please. But the attitudes of the guards and the bleak, unattractive surroundings make Miss Lords feel uncomfortable and unwelcome. I feel uncomfortable and unwelcome. Of course you do. But what if our gate was more artist-friendly? We'll start with the guards. Those dark uniforms connote oppression and conformity. But new outfits, with pastel colors and high pretty collars, seem to say, I'm your friend, not your enemy. How about some inspiring buttons to show our optimism? And what about that security gate? Black and white lines may remind artists of police and fear, but a new gate, with attractive flowers and colorful birds, becomes a lovely decoration, not just a deterrent. Now, with just a few more changes, and some attractive porcelain deer, our gate is now artist-friendly and ready for the future. So how do you feel now, Miss Actress? I feel welcome and relaxed from a meeting at Universal. That's splendid. Too bad the part you want will probably go to Demi Moore. What? Oh, nothing. Here, have a wine cooler. Compliments oh. of your new studio. Thanks. Now don't open that until you park. Now what else will make our studio artist-friendly? Well, how about that old black tower? In the past, many meetings have taken place there. But some people find it rather unappealing. Oh, absolutely. You know, for Bowden is the word that best describes it. You know, it's like real severe, you know. I mean, just a name like Black Tower and <laughs> never want to go there. We certainly don't want to breed fear and contempt into our guests. So let's try some different colors. How about the White Tower? Or the Plaid Tower? That's right. Now, let's just add a porcelain deer for decoration. Tell Ron Murray to be a man and say that to my face. An artist-friendly atmosphere should prevail, not only outside, but inside as well. A neat and tidy office, complemented with the proper flowers and appropriate decorative garnishes, will make artists feel at ease, and thus aid in the pitching process. That's right, Andrew Bergman. But artist-friendly is also in how we treat each other. Wait, Mike. Mr. Lobel. You forgot your profit participation check. Wow. Eight million. And have some Seagram's wine coolers. On Ooh. us. This... And here's a little pig for the kids. Oh, thanks. Thanks for choosing Universal. Neat. Thank you. Thank you, Mike. There now, Kevin Misha. Doesn't that make you feel a lot better? Why, yes. Yes, it does. Yes, we can all do our part to make the studio a more beautiful, artist-friendly place. Sweeten, enhance, beautify. Sweeten, enhance, beautify. Sweeten, Looks enhance, Looks like James beautify. Cameron's got the idea. 
Say, Sean Cassidy. Who, me? How do you like those complimentary wine coolers? I'm blitzed on this stuff, Eric. Sweeten, enhance, beautify. Gosh, with all the wonderful improvements going on around here, everyone is going to want to work at Universal. <laughs> yes, and that brings us to our second point. Now that we're artist friendly, it's time to build our talent roster. You see, sometimes making things more beautiful doesn't make them better. They can still be old and stupid. So we've spent a lot of money and brought in some of the best artists the world has to offer. Like stunning actress Demi Moore. Yes, it's true. I did just join the Universal Family. Casey, Hal, Ron, they're like fathers to me. Grandfathers, even. Besides, being with the Universal Family makes me feel secure, so I have more free time to do the things I love. Like baking ham. We've also acquired director John Singleton. And action! Here's John on the set of his new movie, Shut Your Honky Ass Mouth, Cracker Boy. And cut! I'm happy to be part of the new MCA Universal Family, where I plan to make a lot of money. Can I get my wife cooler now? Certainly. Seagrams. Golden wine cooler, sea grunts. <laughs>